A well-running car is a joy to drive. We also rely on it for work and fun. In this episode of Now You Know, we'll investigate why this car's engine intermittently dies, leaving the driver stranded. Due to the intermittent nature of this car's issue, the technician must first verify what the customer is experiencing. After a short time, he is able to verify multiple warning lights coming on all at once, but the engine continues to run smoothly and hasn't died. Not wanting to risk getting stranded himself on a test drive, he believes there is enough evidence to proceed with the diagnostic process. After connecting the diagnostic machine to the vehicle's onboard diagnostic port, the stored fault codes are now extracted and displayed. There is an abnormal amount to cipher through. In this case, finding the common denominator is key, as following the wrong error code test plan will lead him in the wrong direction, wasting valuable time. Choosing what he thinks is the correct path, the test plan leads him to study a section of the car's wiring schematic. Thinking water may have worked its way into the electrical junctions from the recent rains, he starts probing in the suspected area for clues. Treading lightly at first is important with electrical issues like this. Disturbing the area too much may cause the symptom to disappear for another day, making the diagnosis near impossible. After gently wiggling wires and connections, the engine shuts off. Excellent! He's on to something. The wiring harness retainer is removed and the insulation is peeled back to investigate. You can see where a section of the harness has been rubbed raw from the engine's vibrations, causing the wires to touch each other, making the engine shut off. He investigates further, making sure other areas haven't been compromised. Now it's time for the repair, but first the battery is disconnected to prevent electrical short circuits during the repair. He isolates the wires and cuts out the damaged sections. The ends of the wire's insulation is stripped off, revealing the wire strands, which are then crimped together with the factory connections. They are then soldered to ensure a secure bond. Heat shrink is slid over the exposed crimp, then heated, encapsulating the repair. When going back together, lightly wrapping the harness will allow for ease of movement during engine vibrations. If it's wrapped tightly, the wires could break over time. Have you ever bent a paper clip in the same spot over and over? Strips of felt are added to prevent future chafing. In going back together, the goal is to make it look like nothing ever happened. Then the battery is reconnected and the fault codes are cleared. After driving a number of times, it is safe to hand the car back to the customer. With peace of mind like that, you can bet this customer will be leaving with a smile on their face. We thank you for watching and until next time, try not to get your wires crossed. <laughs>